Hey guys, Peach here, and this is the info video for Season 34 of the Pokemon Cup series, and Season 3 of the Pokemon Truck series, and Pokemon X series. We're doing all three series together in one video. First, I'll go through the drivers of all three of the series, and then I will reveal a lot more as we go on. We will then be revealing the schedule for all three series as well, which races they'll be running. In each of those series and uh, finally we'll be revealing the cup drivers that will be competing in the trucks and X series races um, during the season it'll all be held earlier early in the season and it will all be held on tracks which host all three series so the standalone races will remain standalone but a new twist has been added this season I'll tell you more about it in a little bit but first here are the cars for Season 34 of the Pokemon Cup series, or I should say drivers for Season 34, and cars, so I'll, sh I'll tell you more about it a little bit. But first, let's go through the drivers for this season. The number one Chip Ganassi car will be driven by Cullen Francis. We saw him last time competing, trying to compete in Cup again. Uh, we did hit, we heard from him competing in X and Truck series, and now he returns in a full time ride in the Cup in the one. In the number two Miller Light Penske um, Ford is Igor Barreto. Barreto returning after taking a couple seasons off, and we'll see if he will be back in shape. In the number three for Richard Childress Racing is Marcus Sachi. And he has moved from the 12, I believe the 12 he was in, he was with uh, Penske last season, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, now he moves to RCR in the number three. In the number four for Storthaus Racing is Zachary Fitzwater. He keeps his ride from last season. He's kept the number four for the past couple seasons. He's had a couple wins in that car. We'll see if we will finally get that championship. In the number six for Roush Fenway Racing, it'll be Michael Canto. We saw him last season as a rookie in, in um, the 33 car, and now he'll move over to the six for Roush Fenway. In the number eight car for RCR, it is a brand new car for this season. The number eight is back in, in um, action from RCR. Running that car will be Ryan Butcher, one of the rookies in season 34. He competed in the X series last time and actually made the playoffs in that series with three wins. Now he's taking his talents over to the Cup series. In the number nine for Hedrick Motorsports, it'll be John Andrews. Andrews, also a longtime veteran, returning to the series after taking a couple seasons off. In the double zero for Starcon Racing, it'll be Christian Vargas. He didn't compete last season, but two seasons ago he was in the same ride in the same team and won four races. We'll see if that magic will continue into this season. In the number 10 for the Stuart Haas Racing Team is Brianna Russell, also keeping her ride from last season and the same team as well, just like Fitzwater. In the number 11 for Joe Gibbs Racing, it'll be Grant McKee. And he is a rookie this season, a complete no, a uh, complete um, unknown, trying to make his name here in the Cup Series. In the number 12 for running for Team Penske, it is Matthew Mdev. Mdev returning the series. He was a longtime driver for Penske for the past couple seasons. Now he returns a new number for the team. In the number 13 for Jermaine Racing, for uh, the uh, team is John Mendez. Mendez, a former regular season champion, now returning again as he competes in the 13 for the Germain, Germain team. In the number 14 for Stored Haas Racing, it is Rich Roy. Rich also keeps his ride from last season. Three of the Stored Haas Racing cars have kept their rides from last season, so talk about loyalty to the team. Rich Roy did pretty well last season, so he'll stay in the 14, hope for something better. In the number 17 running for Roush Fenway, it is the, def the defending series champion James Richardson, as he looks to defend his crown from season 33. In the number 18 for Joe Gibbs Racing is Priya McShane. 
Priya returns once more. I think she was in the 13 last season, if I'm not mistaken. I may be wrong, but she I know she was in the series last season. So Priya returns in the big ride in the 18 for Joe Gibbs. In the number 19, for also for Joe Gibbs, is Giovanni Castillo. As he made the playoffs in both the X and Truck Series last season, and now makes his way over to the Cup Series. We'll see if his talents will work out to his favor this season is rookie year in the number 20 for Joe Gibbs racing again it is Peter on Jack we heard we uh we saw Peter on Jack uh, run in the Pokemon indie series and had a win and had a couple wins there so now he's taking his talents over to the cup series and for the new Joe Gibbs 20 team in the number 21 running for the Wood Brothers is Ying Canario as Ian Canario, he's made three Final Four appearances with the same team. And it's only fitting that they return for another season together. Now they're trying to finally win that championship. In the number 22 running for Penske, it is Riley Spurly Tube. Last time we saw Riley, she was in the 62 um, running for the um, Beard Oil team. I forgot the name, but... The 62 team she was uh, in now moves over to the 22 Penske ride. Number 24 running for Hedrick Motorsports. That'll be run by Brandon Tharp. Another longtime driver making his return to the series. In the number 31 running for Richard for RCR is Eli Bright. Eli, I believe, was... Oh, wait, I think Eli was in the 13 last season. Uh, not Priya Priya. I do know she was uh, probably in the 13 a couple seasons ago. But Eli Bright is back in the series. Um, this time with a new ride. Number 32 running for Go Fast Racing. It is Roger Ray. And Roger Ray happens to be the regular season champion from season 33. So we'll see if it turns into a real championship for the same team. In the number 33 running for RCR, they, are, they have a fourth ride as well, as well as a third ride in the eight. A fourth ride for RCR 33, it is Dexter Black. And yes, Dexter Black was the defending Pokemon X Series champion. Champion Now moves over to RCR's number 33 uh, for a one ride for a one season deal at least, because he is the defending X Series champ. We'll see. Uh, well, he'll test out the Cup Series waters this season. Number 34, Front Row Motorsports. That'll be run by Diego Yepes. Yepes, I believe, was um, in the 31 last season. Moves down to the Front Row team in the 34. But we'll see if a new team will give him a championship. Number 37, running for JTG Daughtry, is Evan Hunter. Another rookie this season. As Evan tries to make a name for himself in the Cup Series in Season 34. Number 38, Front Row Motorsports, um, is Cody Smart. And I believe Cody stayed with the team last season. So Cody's back with the same number and same team. We'll see if he'll get a win this season. Like he did last season, a shocker. Remember he won in Argentina? Number 41 for Stored Haas Racing, it'll be Alexander Rowe. And guess what? All four Stored Haas drivers actually kept their rides from last season, including Alexander Rowe. So, talk about loyalty for Stored Haas. They're all sticking it for another season. Number 42 for Chip Ganassi Racing, it is Sebastian Kukulon. And Kukulon was the driver of the 9 car last season, now moves over to the 42. Number 43 for Richard Petty Motorsports, it's Donovan Duthit. And I believe Duthit also ran for Petty last season as well. So he's back with a new look. Number 47 for JTG Daughtry is Jonathan Fast. As he moves over to the 47 team, hoping for to get back that championship run. Number 48 running for Hedrick Motorsports, it's Grayson Acevedo. And he's back from last season. He's also kept his ride, I believe, from last season. Number 51 running for Rick, Rare, Rick Ware Racing is Gatlin Downey. And Gatlin looks to make a comeback in the series after running the 66 in his rookie year previously. 
And the 66 running for MBM Motorsports, it's Patrick Smith. Patrick returns to the Cup Series after being after uh, going in and out of rides. Now he's back for MBM. 72 um, for TriStar Motorsports. Run It'll be run by Carter Friesen. Friesen moves from the 95 over to the 72. Number 78 Virtual Racing Team will be run by Ethan Wickenhauser. He was formerly known as Ethan Wicken, and he changed his name after um, uh, since he last ran in the Cup Series. He has changed his name over to Ethan Wickenhauser, so he'll be running. He'll be back in the 78. Number 88 for Hedrick Motorsports, it'll be DJ Kirker. Last season, he allowed Cassandra to run full-time in the Cup Series. And despite uh, winning a couple races, apparently, I guess, DJ wanted to be back in it himself. So here he is. He's back in the Cup Series for Season 34. Number 92, Ricky Benton Racing Team. It'll be Joseph Romanuk, former Cup champion, and now moves over to the, new, to the Ricky Benton 92. Number 95 for Levine Family Racing, it is Kevin National, and he's another rookie in the Cup Series. Number 96 for Gaunt Brothers, it is, the, it is Daniel Bouchard. The Canadian driver goes with the Canadian team. They'll make a great team, I, uh, I know they'll do for sure. And finally, making his triumphant return to the Cup Series, is the 99 of Pichu. Running for the Starcom Fiber 99 Chevy. The same number he long had has made its return, and so does Pichu in a full-time ride. That's all the Cup drivers for season 34, for season 34 of the PCS. Now let's move on over to the X series, and here's the driver roster from here. The number one car, JR Motors Junior Motorsports, is going to be run by Austin Stitzel. Sitzel, by the way, actually competed in a few cup races, actually had a runner-up finish at Talladega, one of them, believe it or not, but now he'll be full-time in the X-Series making his comeback. Then we have the number two for RCR, that'll be run by James Stabilito. Stabilito moves over to a new team, but stays in the, in the X-Series. Former cup driver Tony Green is going to be in the RCR number three. John Gilbert, also former cup driver, moves over to the four for JD Motorsports um, for the team, Flex Seal team. Cole Luigi is back for another season, the X Series. He's running for Junior Motorsports Pilot 5. Anthony Lopez, another former cup driver, now moves, moves the X Series and he will run the seven for Junior Motorsports. Number eight for the BJ McLeod team is Cassandra Kirker. I mentioned earlier she competed in Cup last season. Now with DJ taking over her ride, um, her spot I should say, Cassandra will move back to the X Series. And the number nine will have Aiden Vernetti as he makes his way into the nine car for Junior Motorsports. The double zero stored Haas with Bigai is Robert Smith as Patrick's the only one that got a ride in the Cup Series. So Robert will be in the X series um, for this season. Logan Bradley moves to the number 11 for calling racing in the Bar Harbor car. Team Penske's number 12 would be run by Andrew Johnson. The 15 is Grace Takayoma, same team, new number with JD's 15. 16 running for Roush Fenway is Isaiah, Isaiah Ayers. I hope I pronounced that right. The 18 will be a cup driver, and I'll explain more about the cup drivers in a little bit and how they'll run in the X and Truck Series, but 18 is one of those cup rides. Ben Goldman running the 19 for Joe Gibbs, and then we have the number 20, Joe Gibbs, run by Alex Hunter. Richard Childress Racing's 21 will be driven by Evan Hunter. Both Alex and Evan are, I believe, I'm not sure if they're related or not, but they both share the last name. Number 22, Team Penske is another cup ride and then we have the 23 GMS racing team and that'll be driven by David Vigneault Jr. Number 28 JGL's team will be um, Philip Goldberg. 33 um, running for RCR is Josh Emdev. 35 for Go Green Racing run by Nick Salmon. 36 running for JMG Racing is Jay Jefferson. 39 running for Ryan Sieg Racing is Joey Trickle, the Truck Series champion from last season. And he also gets a sp sp spot 
the Lombard Bros gaming car. Yep, the Lombard Bros gaming car will be run for this season, the X-Series. Can't wait to see this car go on track. The 42 will be driven by a cup driver. The 48, though, from Chip Ganassi will be driven by Alex Hawkins. The 51 for Jeremy Clements Racing will be driven by Steve Larker. The 54 for VSI, VSI Racing, it'll be driven by Alicia, Alicia Rus Russell. Alicia Russell, I hope I pronounced that right. Number 60, Roush Fenway Racing Team will be driven by Zachary DeLello. Number 61, Fury Race Car will be driven by Johnny Gardner. Yes, he is back, but in the X-Series. Number 88, um, J Junior Motorsports will be Clark McKee. Number 92, um, RPR car will be um, Ryan Pritchard. Number 98 will be driven by a cup driver. And number 99 will be driven by Keon Vargas for BJ McLeod Incorporated. Now let's go on to the Truck Series Season two, season 3 roster. The 0 will be driven by Leia Walker. The number 2 will be driven by Luis Hernandez. Number 3 will be driven by Greg Torres. 4 is Chris Emdev, 6 is Nicky Maxwell, 7 is Kenny Johnson, 8 is Gustavo Rocha, 02 is Luke Walker, number 10 is Max Anderson, 13 is Joe Jefferson, 15 is Steve Larker, 16 is Anthony DeLello, 17 is Sharona Evans, 18 is Arena McShane, and then Young's Motorsports 20 will be driven by Abby Sachs. Number 21 from GMS is Morgan McPherson. Number 22 out of the um, Austin Wayne Self Racing Team, that will be David Vigneault Jr. Number 23 for GMS Racing, that'll be Matthew Burnett. Number 24 running for also, I believe, for KBM, if I'm not mistaken, that's Robbie Bogus. 27 running for Thor Sport, it'll be a cup driver in that 27 truck. Philip Goldberg will run the full time version, the 41. Um, for the Thor Sport team. 43, I'll have Richard Petty's truck in the, as a cup truck for this season for cup drivers in the truck series. Code Luigi will run the Nice, the nice, the nice Motorsports 45. And the 51 will be a cup car for the Kyle Busch team. 52 out of the Hallmark, uh, Hallmark Friesen team. That's Nicholas Wade. 63 of... Um, forgot the team. Oh, Cop Motorsports, I believe. That's Alex Parker. Nick Salmon will run the TriStar Motorsports 72. I, uh, Zahia Ayers will run the Parker Klergerman team. I don't know the name of it, but it's Parker Klergerman's team 75 truck. 82 from Petty, from Richard Petty's um, team. That's Kent McGrant. 88 for Thor Sport. That'll be Monica Just. 92 Ricky Benton Racing, it'll be O'Neill Balvin. 97 from Gone Brothers Racing, that'll be driven by Annabeth Ferris. And number 98 for Thor Sport, that'll be run by Ryan Rickshaw. And the Cup Drivers will and the Cup Drivers will drive the 99 truck uh, out of Gary Dubia Racing. So that's all the trucks for season three of the series, and that's all the drivers from all three series. And now we'll get to the schedule reveal for all three of the series, so stick around. Alrighty guys, here's the schedule for Season 34 of the Pokemon Cup Series. As always, we started at the Daytona 500 from, you guessed it, Daytona International Speedway. Race number two is going to be running at the 40 Go Boost 400 from Homestead Miami Speedway. So we have back-to-back -back races to start off in the Sunshine State. Race number three, we'll head over to Atlanta Motor Speedway and we're going to have the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500. Race number four, it'll be Kentucky Speedway. We're going with a different track than where we ran with Kentucky last season. It'll be the Quaker State 400. And then we got ourselves an, we got ourselves Pokemon Cup Series Goes West and that'll this will kick off that four race West Coast Swing. It'll be the South Point 400 from Las Vegas Motor Speedway. And it's followed by the ISM 500 at ISM Raceway in Phoenix. Yes, we will go to the brand new ISM Raceway. Not the future remodeled version, but the dogleg version that was recently uh, released by NASCARFunFacts.com. 
We're going to give that a shot on the stock cars. I tested it out. It works on stock cars. I'm going to try the best I can to make an ex to have an excellent race at that new ISM Raceway look. Not the very new one, but the one with the dog leg. But j just saying. Anyway, after this, we go to Auto Club Speedway for the Auto Club 400. And then it's the Lombard Bros Gaming 350 from Sonoma Raceway. The, that'll wrap up. Pokemon Cup Series goes west. It'll be the first road course race for the Cup this season at Sonoma. And then we go to the Foxwoods Resort and Casino 301 from New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Then it's a trip to Chicagoland for the Overton's 400. And then we go to Martinsville Speedway. It's the first Data 500 at the Paperclip. And then another short trek follows after that. It's the Food City 500 from Bristol. And then it's Michigan for the Pure Michigan 400. It's going to be fun. For, that's going to be a fun race to do um, at Michigan. Can't wait. Can't wait uh, with the new one. Can't wait for that race. And then we go to Kansas Speedway for the KC Masterpiece 400. And it's the big Coca-Cola 600 that will follow after that. That will be in Charlotte Motor Speedway. And that's the Gander Outdoors 400 at Pocono Raceway at the Tricky Triangle. And then we go to the GoldBowling.com at the Glen at Watkins Glen International in New York. The home race of the of P2 London Racing. And then it's the Tyson Holy Farms 400 from North Wilkesboro. Last season's race there was a success. So now we're going to go back into that old North Wilkesboro track and have a lot of fun with that. Then followed by another race on uh, another race in the old track. It's Darlington Raceway for the Southern 500. Of course, is the return of the Lady in Black. After that, we will have our All Star race, and I'll reveal where the All Star race will be held this year um, at the end. But then, after the All Star weekend, we will have the World Tour, and um, the World Tour is going to kick off in Calder Park, Australia, for the Pens Pennzoil 400. I know a lot of you know what Calder Park looks like. Fun track to go to. It goes in the opposite direction. One of two tracks that does it. Um, and an oval. The other being in Orlando. After that, we hit to Mexico for the KM 500 at Ovalo Juarez. The all new Ovalo Juarez um, is going to be hosting its first ever cup race this season, making the series return to Mexico once more. And then it'll be followed by another race in North America. And this time it'll be Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. And yes, we will be running the Pokemon the Movie Everyone's Story 500 at that track at Canadian Tire. It's always fun to have a race there. Then it's the Pokemon Quest 375 from the all new track in Brazil at Arena Cafe Norte. You may have followed John Norton on Facebook, um, Wild Customs and Cars, track Cars, I believe his name is. I hope I didn't get it right, didn't get it wrong, but it's Wild Customs and Cars, I believe that's the name. They released a new track um, in Brazil, a fictional track called Arena Cafe Norte, and we're gonna give that a shot here for this season, and it'll replace the Argentina race we had in the previous two seasons. Then it's the return to Biker Necky in Latvia for the Toyota Seymour 350. I know that's the Sonoma race name, but I decided to use it in Biker Necky because the Sonoma race I wanted to name after Longboard Bros Gaming. Because I have a support. I appreciate them. I wanted to give them some publicity or something like that, but I love them. So Then we have the 1000Bulbs.com 500, and that'll be run at Rockingham Motor Speedway in the United Kingdom. And then finally, the regular season finale will be the Pokemon Go 500 from Twin Ring Montague. Might have given away the all-star spot, but that's alright. Then we have the Big Machine 400 of the Brickyard that will kick off round one of the playoffs. And that will be in Indianapolis. Second race of the first round will be Richmond's uh, Toyota Owners 400. And the final race of the first round that will be the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu I believe it's uh, 400 or 350, I forgot, but it's Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu Race at Gravis City Zone 11. Uh, that'll be the first round cutoff. Second round will kick off at Dover for the AAA 400 Drive for Autism. And then continues at Texas for the O'Reilly 500. And will end with the Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Race from Sawmill Speedway. 
the end of round two. And round three, it's all super speedways from here. The Detective Pikachu 500 from Talladega, followed by the Tiburon 500 from Orlando. I mentioned earlier the unique way they run in Orlando, and we'll have that back again. And the penultimate race of the season, as always, is the Super Snack 500 from Coca-Cola Super Speedway. And after that, the championship race from Zanjoltis. Final four will survive. Not sure how many playoff drivers will be in this series this season. I'm still actually working on that. I'll let you know on Facebook, on my Facebook page, on what I decide. And finally, the all-star race that will take place right after Darlington. That'll be in Gravis City Zone 11 this season. So we're going to try Gravis City to have its all-star race there. We're going to see where we will we'll go from there. Now let's reveal the X and Truck Series schedules. Alrighty guys, here is the schedule for both the Pokemon X series and the Pokemon Truck series. And the reason I'm doing these together is because uh, I'm going to be trying something different for this season. Is that the X series and Truck series will both have um, their races in one video. So when they both have uh, races at, tr at the same track, they'll be put in, a they'll be put in one video. If they do have them in separate tracks or the weekend... That they'll be each have its own video so that's why you see the thumbnail so in x and truck series and if they're, if they're on the same track they have one video but if they're not they each have a separate video the cup series just so you know will have a separate video for its races for every race but for x and trucks um they may have uh, one video for both races if they're on the same track otherwise they have separate videos so anyway Race number one, the first weekend, it'll be in Daytona. It's the Alert Today Florida 300 and the Coca-Cola Firecracker 250. Then it's the 40 EcoBoost 200 and the 40 EcoBoost 300 from Homestead. Then in Atlanta, it'll be the Active Pest Control 200 and the Heads Up Georgia 250. And then in Kentucky, it'll be the Unit UNOH 225 and the Feed the Children 300. And then it's the Stratosphere 200 and the Boyd Gaming 300. Then it's the Lucas Solar 150 and the DC Solar 200. And then, if, and then we'll have a standalone race in the Truck Series. They'll run the Eldora Dirt Derby for the trucks only. And Eldora, and on the same weekend, the, the X Series will run alongside the Cup Series at Auto Club Speedway for the Lombard Bros Gaming 300. And then we'll have a triple header of road courses. So there'll be three different road courses in the eighth weekend, and the truck series will have will kick it off in Portland for the Pokemon Go 225, and then it's followed by X Series racing at Road America, the Johnsonville 180, and then it will be followed with Sonoma in the Cup Series, and then we'll have a standalone race for the truck series at Chicago Motor Speedway in the Petty's Garage 175. On the same weekend, we'll uh, have the X and Cup Series run together at New Hampshire. And the, and the X-Series will host the Lakes Region 200. And it's back to triple weekends in Chicagoland for the Overtons 225 and the Overtons 300. And then we go to the trucks only. Trucks will only be competing along with the Cup in Martinsville in the Alpha 250. Same weekend, the X-Series will make its return to the Milwaukee Mile. That's right, we're going to have a race in the Milwaukee Mile. It's the Pokemon Quest 250. And then we will go to Bristol. Triple Weekends are back again at Bristol. The Texas Roadhouse 200 and the Fitzgerald USA 300. Next weekend we go to Michigan International Speedway. The trucks will run the Corrigan Oil 200 and the X-Series runs the Outer Shells 250. And then at Kansas Speedway, two, both series will run there with the 37 Kind Days 250 and the Kansas Lottery 300. And then Charlotte will be running the North Carolina Education Lottery 200 and the Alsco 300. And then Pocono will be running the Gander Outdoors 150 and the Pocono Green 250. And then we head over the Glen for the NASCAR Heat 3 100 and the Zippo 200 at the Glen. And then the North Wilkesboro will share its weekend with the Cup Series and it'll be called the Bonton 200. On the same weekend, the X Series will have its own race in Mid Ohio for the running of the Mid Ohio Challenge presented by Formula One 2018, the video game. And then the Truck Series will have its own weekend in the Milwaukee Mile, and that'll be running the Pokemon Quest 200. 
Same weekend, Darlington will share its cup date with the uh, X Series date, and that'll be called the Sport Clips Help a Hero 200. And then when the World Tour begins, the Truck Series will only be running with uh, the Cup Series at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park in the Canadian Tire 250. The X Series will run its own standalone weekend on the weekend of the Cup Series race at um, Ovalo Juarez in Mexico. It'll be the Corona Mexico 200. And then a double weekend over at Nazareth Speedway will follow after that with the X and Trucks, the um, Chevy Silverado 200, and the I and the Gould Pump Golds and the Gould's Pumps ITT Tech 200, both at Nazareth Speedway. Then the Truck Series will have its own standalone weekend at um, North Carolina Speedway in the Rock and the Good Sam 200. Same weekend, the X Series will actually be running at Memphis Motorsport Park or Memphis International Raceways are now called. It'll be the Samstown 250. And then a double weekend back at Gateway. It'll be the Eaton 200, presented by CK Power, and the Villa Light Lighting 300 for the X-Series. And then the Lucas Oil Raceway will host only the trucks this season, the Kroger 250. And then the X-Series will run alongside the Cup Series and the doubleheader weekend at Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the Lily Diabetes 250. And then the Walt Disney World will be for the Truck Series for the Lombard Rose Gaming 275. And then uh, the X Series will run alongside the Cup at Richmond for the Toyota Care 250. And then the regular season finale for both series will be Gravis City Zone 11. First round of the playoffs for both sides will be at Dover, the One Main 200 and the Jags 200. Round 2 continues at Texas for the O'Reilly Challenge and the PPG 400. And then we wrap up the first round at Iowa Speedway for the XN Trucks, the playoffs, in the American Ethanol E15-250, and the American Ethanol 200. And then Talladega starts round two of the playoffs for both series in the Detective Pikachu 300 and the Detective Pikachu 250. And then Pensacola Speedway Trucks will host next era as Energy Resources 250, and the X Series will host the Sparks Energy 300. And then we have the Pokemon Let's Go Eevee a weekend at Armory Digital Speedway, which will be the penultimate race for both series. And the final four, as always, will be decided at Zen, at Zen Joltis in the championship race for the X and Truck series. So that's all the tracks, and that's the schedule for all three series. Uh, before we go, we do have a couple more announcements. Alrighty, guys, there are a couple things I like to point out as well. First, there will be cup drivers competing in the X and Truck Series races this season like we did in the previous two seasons, but it will go to Atlanta, Kentucky, Las Vegas, ISM Raceway, Chicagoland, Bristol, Michigan, Kansas, and Char Charlotte, and Pocono. Those are the races that the cup drivers will compete in all three series in. But I'll have an even bigger surprise for you at the end below that, so we'll get to that later. But first, let's reveal the cup ride, the cup drivers that will be competing in which race in the X and Truck Series. Now, I try to match him with the team as much as possible, so the ones running in Joe Gibbs' uh, cup cars or would run in the Joe Gibbs' X Series cars and the KBM trucks. The ones that, dr that drive for Penske would drive for Penske as well in the X Series. And I believe... If I'm, oh, and the uh, 27, that was the closest I could come with the Penske Coalition with Thor Sport. Um, the 40, the uh, 42 teams would run with Chip Ganassi, Chip Ganassi and Cup, and in the um, X Series. And they would also be running with the 43 of the Petty Motorsports in the trucks. And finally, the 98 from Stort Haas Racing would be driven by Stort Haas drivers mostly. And uh, the 99 truck is driven uh, is a different team, but it will work with Stort Haas to send its drivers there to the truck series races. And I just, uh, for the rest of the drivers, I just put them all at random and see what ride best fits for them in each different track. But everyone's going to race at least once in the um, in a truck or in the X and or the X series ride. So here's a schedule. We start at Atlanta and Priya McShane will drive the 18. And the X race in Atlanta and the 51 truck uh, truck in that week in that weekend, and Raleigh Spurley two will drive the 22 in the X and 27 in truck. Then Sebastian Kukulon rides 42 in X, and uh, Kukulon will drive 43 in truck. 
And finally, Zachary Fitzwell drove the 98 in X and 99 in truck. Then we go to Kentucky. Giovanni Castillo, Igor Barreto, Colin Francis, and Brianna Russell will run all three series that weekend. I won't go through every one of the numbers where they are. You can pause the video to find your name and to find all the names that are on this um, video right now. Las Vegas will be driven by the by Grant McKee, Matthew M. Dev, Donovan Duthin, and Rich Roy. And ISM will be Peter Onjak, Christian Vargas, Jonathan Fast, and Alexander Rowe. In Chicagoland will be Ethan Wickenhauser, Michael Cano, John Andrews, and Eli Bright. In Bristol will be Daniel Bouchard, Marcus Sachi, Brandon Tharp, and Carter Friesen. In Michigan will be Gatlin Downey, DJ Kirker, Evan Hunter, and Ryan Butcher. In Kansas it will be Patrick Smith, Yen Canario, Grace Nacevedo, and John Mendez. At Charlotte it will be Cody Smart, Pichu, Kevin National, and Diego Yepes. And finally in Pocono it will be James Richardson, Dexter Black, Roger Ray, and Joseph Romanuk. And now the surprise that I've been waiting for you, that I've been waiting until the very end for. So here's the surprise. Those 4X series rides and the 4 truck series rides will continue to be used in races beyond Pocono. What I mean by that is that the X drivers will get a chance to drive the tr to drive one truck race and vice versa. That's a brand new thing I decided to try out this season so that the X drivers get truck experience and vice versa. And to keep things interesting and to allow more of those cup truck cup rides and X and trucks more on um, races as the season goes along and it starts here at Watkins Glen. The extra the uh, X rides will be taken by truck drivers and vice versa. Starting at the Glen will be Arena McShane, Matthew Burnett, Cam McGrann, and Anthony DeLello in the X series. And Robert Smith, Alex Hawkins, Ben Goldman, and Tony Green will run the Truck Series race at the Glen. In Nazareth, it'll be Chris M. Dev, Joe Jefferson, Alex Parker, and Adabeth Ferris in um, the X race. In the Truck race, it'll be Jay Jefferson, Josh M. Dev, Alex Hunter, and Evan Hunter. In Gateway, it'll be Robbie Bogus, Greg Torres, Nicholas Wade, and Kenny Johnson in the X series. And in the Truck Series, it's Keon Vargas, Austin Stitzel, Clark McKee, and Grace Takayoma. At Dover, it'll be Sharona Evans, Max Anderson, Luis Hernandez, and Monica Just. And in the Truck and the Truck Race, it'll be Alicia Russell, Ryan Pritchard, Zachary De DeLello, and Andrew Johnson. In Texas, it'll be Luke Walker, Gustavo Rocha, Nikki Maxwell, and Morgan McPherson in the X Race. In the Truck Race, it'll be Anthony Lopez, Aiden Vernetti. Joey Trickle and James Stabilito. And finally the last race with the Yeah, the last race with the um X with the um swapping series cars for a day. Iowa. Um the X series will have O'Neill Balvin, Avi Sachs, Leia Walker, Ryan Rickshaw, and the truck race there at Iowa will have Johnny Gardner, John Gilbert, Logan Bradley, and Cassandra Kirker. Those are all the rides that'll be going to those drivers. Um in this season of season three in a new format I decided to try out for this wave of seasons. Dover, Texas, Iowa are playoff races I do understand but there were no other races that I could possibly fit for all of them. I just want to give every truck and X driver at least one race in another series so this was the best I could do. So it will run to the playoffs but only through the first round and it's my may or may not it may be an F have, have an effect on the first round but they're not cup drivers at least competing not at least in this wave in season 34 no one's competing none of the X or truck drivers listed or do have a ride in season 34 the cup series but um yeah it's going to be a lot of fun it'll be interesting it'll make the playoff races more exciting for both series to have like the four drivers in each from the other series compete in those playoff races that was going to be a lot of fun to do I'm sure it's going to have, it's going to be an interesting interesting season um, the drivers that I did not include were the six or the six drivers. I did look at all the lists for trucks and X series, and I found out that six drivers have both a truck series ride and an X series ride, and those are not listed because they're already full time in both those series. Code Luigi, David Vigneault Jr., Isaiah Ayers, Nick Salmon, Philip Goldberg, and Steve Larker. They both they all have an X ride and a cup and a truck ride full time so they're not in this list of the drivers competing in those races and in, in the in the crossover races I should say 
I guess I can call these races the crossover races. The ones after Walk Watkins Glen, Nazareth, Gateway, Dover, Texas, and Iowa, they'll be crossover races. And they'll cross over with the trucks and X series in those respective races. And the cup drivers and the cup drivers will cross over the trucks and the X series um, races from Polk from Atlanta to Pocono. So the first two weekends they're gonna have their only their own drivers, Daytona and um, Homestead for all three series. Their own drivers will only compete there, and so will Gravis City. Gravis City will also the regular scene finale. Gravis City will also only have drivers from their respective series. And no other crossover drivers will be competing in those races. And finally, the final four races of both series, the X and Truck Series, they will not have crossover drivers. And uh, it'll be down to the whatever the playoff. Um, it'll be down to those um, only the regulars in those series will compete in the final four races of both the X and the Truck Series seasons. And uh, let me, I just, I'm trying to think of what I'm going to say next, but... um. Yeah, the Cups will have one race experience, and Zen Jolt is the finale, um, same thing. They're just going to have regulars compete in their respective series for the championship. And uh, yeah, it's an all-out war. It's Final Four for each series. It's still going to be the Final Four, by the way, in all three series in um, Zen Joltis, so just so you know. Anyway, one more thing before I go. Um, the playoffs. Um, there's not going to be a driver cap in the playoff field anymore. As to, that we just got rid of it for all three series. So if you win, you're in, no matter what. So, and that applies to all three series. And the reason for this is because having a cap just didn't seem right for all three uh, series. With many, with the unpredictability of Entertown Three, of having different winners and different races, it just, um, yeah, it just wouldn't be right to set up a, a limit in um, how many drivers up they make the playoffs in those three series. So there's not going to be a cap of playoff drivers we're going to have in each of the respective series. So winning drivers, drivers who win races, are guaranteed into the playoffs. That makes winning so much, winning a race so much more important than it was before. We're still going to keep track of regular season points because we're going to give out playoff point bonuses before the playoffs begin uh, from those regular season point standings so they still matter every position still matters in every race to get the most possible playoff points to start off when you do make the playoffs and if you win one race so for all three series win and you're in and the and the el eliminations are going to be uh, adjusted accordingly for the drivers that are in uh, the playoffs in each of the three series um, but we we will still be down to four drivers at Zen Joltis in the championship race for all three series. It will still come down to four drivers in each series for the championship at Zen Joltis. It will just be adjusted. Eliminations will be adjusted accordingly for all three series, depending on how many playoff drivers we get in those in each of the series. So again, no cap of playoff drivers in all three series anymore. Um, if you win, you're guaranteed into the playoffs. Yeah, that's for sure in that respective series if you race full-time in that series. Obviously, if a crossover driver wins a race, they won't make it to that respective um, series as playoffs because they don't compete full-time in the series. So, there's that too. But anyway, I know this was a very long info video, but there was a lot of information I wanted to give you guys. So, if you were patient enough to uh, stick to the very end, thank you so much for doing that. Thanks so much for all of you to stuck to the who have stuck to the very end of this info video. It was a very long one to do, honestly. That's why it took so long for me to post it since after the signups were closed. There was a lot for me to cover through this entire run. So hopefully I'll have the races up very soon. I'm going to try to get them out as soon as possible. I have no guarantees of the exact date of these races coming out as always. When it comes up, it comes up. So... Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be going to work um, on these all three races, on all three series, I should say. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make final touches, and then I'll start all three series. So anyway, again, the cup races will have their own video. The X and truck races will will have both their races in one video if they are on the same track. Otherwise, they'll each get their own video. I wanted to try um, something different. The X and truck series will be down. To, will have highlights for those races. The cup races will run the full races. We'll do full races unedited.
for the Cup and for the X and Trucks, there'll be highlights, condensed highlights from those two series and both their races together in one video if they're one track. If not, we're going to do the full races um, in their own video at whatever track they're in. So you're not going to miss much. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed all three series coming up. And uh, this is Pichu London. Thanks for sticking around for the long run, and we'll see you guys later.